Good morning everyone welcome back to the channel. This morning I thought that I would give you guys a little bit of a tour of our upgraded offices. We've gone from our office in Canada to the office in Finland at the cottage and now we're in Portugal at Casa de Hapa. This is where we're living for the next few weeks. All right let me give you the quick tour. Bedroom number one, number two, number three, number four, bathroom number one, two, three, four, and number five. Kitchen, living room with views for days. Oh, check those out. We got our own pool table and our very own personal gym. And then we have too many balconies to count. Let's try, I'll probably fail at this. Balcony number one with a hot tub. Two with the barbecue. Then if we take these cool spiral stairs, it'll take you to level two to another balcony. Let me take you. Balcony number three. Another table here. And then I really enjoy this lounge couch right here. Because look at the views from these couches. Really nice. Then we walk down the stairs to one of my favorite parts. The pool. This place is glorious. Let's just say that whenever I've had a chance to edit or work out here by the pool, I've taken full advantage of that. Not bad for the beginning of work day. But something that I've actually loved probably even more than staying at this villa are the views and the nature. Let me show you my spot. See that over there? That's the ocean. And I love the ocean. And that path, that's where I go walk every single morning. Would you guys actually like to join me for a morning walk to my favorite spot? I don't know if you said yes, but I'm taking you anyways. So pretty much every single morning, Vera and I have been taking advantage of the mornings here and doing a nice morning walk to that little cliff over there. It's just perfection. I'll take you out there. My walking gear, Vera's walking outfit. She's a lot more ready for the morning walk. As you can tell by our clothing choices, I'm a little bit more of a casual walker and Vera, well, She's more athletic. This is the downhill that's nice to walk down, but death on the way back up. But I'm actually quite proud of Vera and I. Yesterday we ran up this whole hill in one shot. It was freaking tiring. I was taking too long vlogging, so Vera left me. It's just me out here by myself. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. I know she's the better half. She's already up there. She's a fast runner. early in the morning but sun's already way up there. So on this trip I've actually been vlogging on the Canon EOS M6 Mark II with a 11 to 22 millimeter lens. Let me show you what it looks like. This setup is significantly smaller than my R5 and the 1535 with the Rode video mic. It's my first time using this camera but I thought it'd be fun to test out because I noticed for myself personally a lot of times I don't want to lug around my R5 with the big 1535 lens and the Rode video mic when I'm on trips. I noticed that I end up just leaving the camera more at the hotel room than taking it along with me to vlog and just document my trip. So I thought it would be fun to borrow this camera and test it out on this trip to Portugal. And definitely some of the pros of the M6 Mark II is, is that it's just so small. Especially with this 11 to 22 millimeter lens, it's wide enough for vlogging and it's just such a small, lightweight, compact setup. And I really love that because I've just failed to take it along with me. I don't have to worry about where do I store it. I could literally probably just put it in my pocket or just hang it on the strap around my neck, shoot a few clips, and then just enjoy my time not having to worry about this big piece of camera gear that's super expensive along with me if I had the R5 and the 15 to 35 lens. The second thing that I love about this setup is, is that it has a really great stabilization. This lens has a stabilization and as well the EOS M6 Mark II has the digital stabilization so with those paired together it looks pretty smooth. Even right now I'm just walking and holding a grilling pod and filming myself and with the R5 and IBIS I'd be getting those crazy wobbles 
but with this camera, I don't, which is pretty crazy. And on top of the stabilization, you got 4K, 24 frames per second, and you have that ease of use if you're used to using Canon cameras. It literally took me maybe 30 minutes to just play with the buttons and figure out the settings, and right away, because I'm used to Canon's menus and settings and buttons, I was able to just start filming this camera and just enjoy vlogging right away. I don't know if you guys ever tried vlogging and talking and walking up a mountain hill, but it's not easy. So if I'm out of breath, you know why. I'm tired walking up this hill while talking and vlogging at the same time. Let me show you guys why this is my favorite morning walk because there are some epic views on this pathway. Oh, watch the prickly bushes. <laughs> Look at those views. Portugal has the most beautiful beaches in the world. I definitely can't complain. This is a pretty great place to do a work trip. Do you agree with me? It's pretty nice. Ah! Also, I wonder who lives in that house right there. Because whoever lives there, they have a pretty epic view from their house. All right, let's get back to the house and talk about some of the cons of this camera because the truth is there is no perfect camera out there and every camera has its pros and cons. So we've talked about some of the pros of the EOS M6 Mark II, but we haven't talked about the cons yet. And there are some cons to this camera. I remember when I first opened up the box and I saw this LCD screen, I was like, oh sweet, this is awesome. It's on top of the camera, so while I'm talking to the lens, I can see myself. But then I quickly realized why this is a huge problem, and let me show you why. If you wanna have good sound and you wanna put a microphone on this camera, I got the Rode Video Micro right here, you can put there, but then, if you want to see yourself vlogging, it's a little bit challenging when the screen's right at the same place as the microphone. I honestly don't know why they could have just done the flip out LCD screen so then while you're talking to the camera you can still see yourself and still use a microphone. So what I've actually been doing is, and you've probably been noticing is, I just ditched a microphone and I just went full on, you know, kind of beginner vlogging styles just to see what it's like. So this LCD screen, huge downside when it comes to the M6 Mark II because it's very hard to use a screen like this and have the microphone at the same time. The second con of this camera is that there's no log picture profiles. You only have the basic normal picture profiles, which means that you're not gonna have more of a dynamic range and more room for color grading. But in some ways, maybe it doesn't matter because for a lot of people, if they're vlogging with this camera, they're probably not too into color grading and it's maybe more about the vlogging than getting really cinematic footage. So it's a con, but it's not the end of the world. But this flip LCD screen, this is probably one reason why I wouldn't use this camera, just because I can't get good audio and be able to see myself vlogging at the same time. So it's crazy how one feature of a camera can ruin it for you and make you not want to use the camera. But at a price of 849 US dollars, you really can't complain because this camera definitely does pack a lot of great things. Who would I suggest this camera for? I would suggest this camera for people who are beginning in the vlogging YouTube world, starting to make videos. You don't wanna maybe invest thousands of dollars, but you have a thousand dollars. This camera is $849, like I said earlier, and this 11 to 22 millimeter lens is only 349. So for 1100 US dollars, you have a complete setup. And if you wanna add a microphone, 50 bucks, but then you're facing that problem. Maybe you could somehow like add to the side some microphone, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of attachment you could put here from the bottom, a little bit of grip, I don't know, but then already it's getting bigger. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this very non-scientific review. This is just me testing out the EOS M6 Mark II and my thoughts, pros and cons of this camera while filming here in Portugal. Also, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little morning tour of the villa and my morning walk to the coastline. It's been a great making content for you guys. Been loving all the feedback. Comment below what you think about the villa, about the M6 Mark II. I love to hear you guys' thoughts always. I think it's time to go for a quick dip and then start the work day.
<laughs> that sounds hilarious because back in the day, I would be at the office and uh, wouldn't have the opportunity to go for a quick dip before going to work. So everything's good here. Mm -hmm.